the population of the world crossed 1 billion people for the first time around the year 1800. And since then, world population has skyrocketed. In 2022, for the first time, the world population crossed 8 billion people. It's a lot of people. To give you some idea of how big of a number 8 billion is, 8 billion seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, the whole way up to 8 billion, is over 250 years. My point is, the world population of 8 billion people is a very large number. Can you identify New York City on a world map? There's a red dot on this map representing approximately to scale the location and size of New York City. It's hard to see. Here it is. If you still can't see it, I'll increase the size of this dot by a factor of 10. It's still very small in relation to the rest of the world. And although New York City is very small in relation to the rest of the world, the entire world population of 8 billion people standing side by side could fit in New York City. This is a pretty amazing fact. New York City is a tiny, tiny fraction of the entire world. The land area of New York City is very small in relation to the rest of the world, and the world population is huge. But everyone in the world, if they stood shoulder to shoulder, side by side, could fit inside the boundaries of New York City. It's pretty amazing to think about but I'll show you the math that proves it. So again, I have on the screen a red dot, a small red dot that represents the approximate size to scale and location of New York City on a world map. Yeah, it's very small compared to the rest of the world. My contention is that even though the world population is huge, 8 billion people, all 8 billion people could fit inside that dot. All 8 billion people could fit inside New York City. Let's do the math to prove it. I'm going to give all 8 billion people one square foot to stand inside. That's a relatively small area to stand inside, but like I said, everyone will be standing shoulder to shoulder. Just about everyone in the world could fit inside of one square foot. And how many square feet will we need for everybody? Well, we'll just take that square foot times 8 billion people and get, obviously, 8 billion square feet standing shoulder to shoulder inside of a one square foot area all eight billion people would require eight billion square feet of space so the question becomes is there eight billion square feet inside new york city well the area of new york city which is comprised of five boroughs staten island brooklyn queens the bronx and manhattan not counting the waterways in between is about 303 square miles. So is 303 square miles more or less than 8 billion square feet? How many square feet are in one square mile? Well, you might know that uh, in one mile there are 5,280 feet, but how many square feet are in a square mile? Well, basically, we can just square both sides of this equation. A square mile is equal to 5,280 squared square feet. 5,280 squared, 5,280 times another, 5,280 is 27,878,400. So we'll take that number multiplied times all 303 square miles that make up the land area of New York City, we're gonna get a large number. It's actually 8,450,000,000 approximately square feet inside of New York City. The number of square feet in the land area of New York City is 8,450,000,000. This is more than the 8 billion square feet required to fit everyone in the world. This proves that if everyone in the world stands in a one square foot square, they could all fit inside New York City. And again, it's a pretty amazing fact considering how small New York City is compared to the rest of the world, but everyone in the world 
could fit inside New York City. I think that's pretty interesting. Thanks for watching. Thank you.